Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone. These letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. Just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website edvforme.org and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, email us. I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll get you out a free Bible anywhere on earth just for you. If you can't afford one, don't have access to one, we can help. Like I said, email us and we'll get you out that free Bible, okay? Today, everybody, we are going to be sharing dreams about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there are a couple of dreams here that were shared on our website at edvforme.org. And I'm going to share them here with you right now. If you want your dreams shared on this channel, you have to go to our website and just post them there. The website's completely free. It has tons of stuff there for you. But the main things we love to see are all the dreams and visions being posted there. So, here in this dream, this is from Nikisha. Nikisha named this one, I had two visitations of Jesus. She goes on to say here, this wasn't a dream. It was a real heavenly experience where I had two visitations from Jesus. The first visitation I had was living with my mom. And I was in my room about to take a nap, but before I could take a nap, I saw Jesus in my room. His feet were touching the floor. He had brown hair, wore a white robe, and had a purple clothing over his robe. He didn't say anything to me, he just smiled with his eyes of love. While I was looking at him in awe, I fell asleep for a few hours, and then when I woke up to my amazement, Jesus was still there in the same position, his feet not touching the ground, and then he went right through my ceiling and was gone. In 2021 of this year, I had another visitation from Jesus, the same as the first visitation, and this time I was in my living room in my apartment, and he just appeared. I was just about to fall asleep and I was lying down on my sofa. He was so happy and had a big smile on his face. I literally fell asleep while looking at him and then the next day at 6 a.m., to my amazement, Jesus was still 
visiting me still standing in the same spot. His feet were not touching the ground and I looked up at him and he went right through the ceiling and was gone. During these two visitations, he did not speak to me. He just looked very happy and smiled while being in the midst of me. So, two real live visitations from Jesus Christ. The only thing that kind of uh, gets my attention here is that you were laying down to sleep. You saw him while you were falling asleep and then you saw him again while you're waking up. Could this have been the case? You were very tired and you saw Jesus and then when you woke up, you saw Jesus. You know, sometimes when we wake up, we're at that stage of like coming out of our, you know, sleep mode where we're in between, you know, in between our subconscious and consciousness. And being in between those two places is where you could see things in the spiritual realm. And I think that she was falling asleep here, and that's when she saw Jesus. And then when she woke up, this is when she saw Jesus. I don't think that anybody would see Jesus standing in the room, wide awake, and they could just fall asleep. I wouldn't fall asleep. I would be wide awake, looking at him, communicating with him. I would not be falling asleep. I believe she did see Jesus beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. But... Like I said, I don't think she saw Jesus while she was wide awake and then sat there for a while and then, oh, you know, I'm starting to get tired and fell asleep. I believe she saw Jesus while she was between the consciousness and the subconsciousness of her mind when she fell asleep and when she woke up. Hey friends, are you looking to share the gospel with as many people as possible, but you're really struggling in this area? Are you that person who really wants to make your mark here on the earth for the Lord while you're still here? If that's you, then my friend, you need to listen up. We have been doing Christian missions now for almost 10 years, and we have built an incredible infrastructure of missionaries, teachers, and evangelists, pastors, and people assisting them who are preaching the gospel of grace to new believers and are moving all the humanitarian relief aid and free bibles and everything as they continue to preach this gospel of grace throughout third world countries as you can tell everything is in place you don't have to do a single thing except provide the seed and just let me explain what we do we go into these areas of people who have never heard the gospel before and i'm talking about areas that are hard to reach remote areas and villages and jungles areas outside of the cities that society has forgotten about and forsaken we reach these areas and we provide food blankets clothing hygiene products humanitarian relief aid of all sorts depending on what's needed and once we get everybody up to speed with what they need i'll tell you what that changes the tune of a lot of people in these places when you provide aid to them they are very willing to listen to your message that will follow it and from this we have been seeing countless numbers of people coming to the saving grace of jesus christ and for these people we give them their own free bible in their own native language that our missionaries purchase locally in their countries or a king james for all the english readers and from this point we continue to teach them lead them and guide them moving forward are you ready to make a difference in god's kingdom today react right now to that pull in your spirit stop what you're doing go to our website feedmysheeptoday.org the link is below there you can give by paypal credit card bank draft or just send your gift in the mail feed my sheep today is a non-profit all of your giving is tax deductible something to think about since we are heading towards the end of the year for all of you looking to get in those final charitable contributions for their tax reductions do you want to make a big impact right now but can't afford to do so i got a simple answer for you just become a monthly sustainer we greatly need more monthly sustainers and the great benefit about this position is you can set it and forget it now this whole thing is working on your behalf and you can focus on other things in the kingdom your seed will automatically be invested into god's kingdom on a monthly 
basis. How many new believers can you say that you were responsible for, for leading to the Lord last year and giving a free Bible to? How would you like to be responsible for 36 new salvations this year and also give them a free Bible? Well, you can do that with simply $10 a month. So that's there for you. Please consider joining our Easy Feed Monthly Sustainer family. We would be so happy to welcome you in. And some of you could say, you know what? The Lord has really blessed us financially this year. If that's you, imagine being able to fund an entire Christian mission all by yourself for a whole month for only $1,000. We'll tell you which country your funds are going to, so that way you can track it on our YouTube channel. All you need to do is go to our official website. It's www.feedmysheeptoday.org. There you can give by credit card, PayPal, bank draft, or just simply send your gift in the mail. Feed My Sheep Today is a nonprofit. All of your giving is tax deductible. Something to think about since we are heading towards the end of the year. For all of you looking to get in those final charitable contributions for their tax reductions. And please consider becoming a monthly sustainer. This is great for those who can't afford to make a big impact right now. Instead, you could do it over a long period of time. This will help us out greatly because if we know how much money is coming in next month, this helps us to coordinate and plan and set up these locations that we will be visiting the next month knowing that we will have enough funds to purchase enough Bibles and humanitarian relief aid that will be sufficient for these areas that we are planning on going into. Please, just $10 a month, that can make a huge difference. And don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today, where you can see everything that we are spending the money on and all the new believers in Christ that came forth because of your financial support. Great in heaven will your rewards be. Thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all. Thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support of Feed My Sheep Today, Christian missions all around the world. Everybody, that's just what we need to be working on right now. We need to continue expanding the body of Christ. Now, I know not everybody could be a missionary, but we can support the missionaries. And Feed My Sheep Today is, in my opinion, the best way to do it because all the funding that comes into Feed My Sheep Today goes directly into the ministry. And we're getting those funds out to all missionaries all around the world. And we are building churches. A lot of you don't realize this, but we are building churches under these ministries. Okay, we are building hundreds and hundreds and thousands of churches and we are putting people ahead of churches and we're doing all these things with our missionaries and everywhere we go, our missionaries, we will set up people and you watch our videos on our YouTube channel and you'll see this big group of people with Bibles and it's not the same group of people over and over and over again. We are continuing to build churches. Now, churches are hard to build when we don't have a Bible, but when everybody in the, the group of people gets a Bible, you're going to have leaders that will come out of those groups, and those leaders become pastors, evangelists, even missionaries themselves. That's how we reach, we begin building, and when the building continues to grow and grow and grow, it establishes a church, okay? And basically, we have been doing that now since 2012. And thanks to all of you who have given, we'll continue to do that. So the Holy Spirit is leading you in any way, shape, or form to make a donation. That's just the Holy Spirit tugging at your heart and saying, hey, we can make some things happen with the money that you have right now. So that way you can see great rewards at the Bema seat. Okay, because your funds are coming in here is building the body of Christ in third world countries all around the world. Feed my sheep today. So thank you all so much for your much, much needed support. May God bless you all. Thank you so much. Now the second one is also from Nikisha. Nikisha says, when I was a child, I used to pray to Jesus to give me a dream of heaven because I was so captivated and longed to be there. 
the Lord Jesus answered my prayer. I was in heaven, and the most beautiful angel was there to welcome me. The angel had long golden hair, and as I write this dream to you, I can still hear the angel's welcoming voice. The angel said to me, welcome to this place. I was sitting on the most beautiful marble-like bench. I've never seen anything like this before on earth. I felt love so much more. The atmosphere of heaven is engulfed with love that you cannot fathom it or contain it. The love was so deep and strong and pure and engulfed the whole atmosphere of heaven. The dream ended, I was happy. The Lord answered my prayer and gave me a brief glimpse of heaven. But I was hoping to see more, but that didn't happen. So here in this dream, it wasn't much of a dream of Jesus, but I included it in here because it was a dream of heaven. And the Lord Jesus answered her prayer and gave her the dream. And I believe any of you out there that want to see heaven without dying, <laughs> God will give you a dream of it. I've had my own dreams about heaven, and I tell you what, this is right on, okay? And she talked about this angel that was welcoming her there. You know, there are many angels in heaven, they're all beautiful. You know, they're different than we who are the body of Christ. The angels are not royalty, we are royalty. But yet, they are pretty impressive. I mean, if you look at archangels like Archangel Michael, I'm sure that he will impress you, <laughs> okay? But be it as it may, we are different from the angels. You know, Jesus talks about that we will be like the angels because our celestial bodies will be like the angels, but we're also gonna be different from the angels, okay? Perfect example. You know, I'm just a regular guy here living on the earth, all right? But I have a body, I have a circulatory system, all right? I have everything that makes up a human body. I'm a human here on the earth. But then you have people who are royalty living here on the earth in different countries. Okay, they're human me, just like me, have a mind, circulatory system, just like me, physical body, but different status, okay? So when Jesus says that when we are resurrected, we will be like the angels in heaven, he's referring to how our celestial bodies will be and how they'll operate, but we'll have a different status in heaven. We will be considered royalty, all right? The angels are not considered royalty, okay? And this is all done according to God's wonderful, beautiful will, okay? She goes on to say that heaven was engulfed with love. And I've seen this in people who have died and gone to heaven, near-death experiences. Well, basically, they died and went to heaven, so they died, okay? But then their, their spirit was sent back to the body and their bodies became reanimated so that, that way they can tell the world about their experience in heaven. But be it as it may, it's the same narrative. It's just filled with love. Just no sin, no nothing, love. And I can't comprehend the, the vastness of the greatness of heaven. I can't. Love, 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 love. There's so much love. Pure love just engulfs the atmosphere of heaven. Mm. You know, that reminds me of like when once in a while I'll just get this feeling of just peace and joy and love and it's like nothing in this world matters and and it feels eternal it feels incredible have you ever felt that way even though it's just for a split second and when it happens the Lord says it to me in my spirit very quietly that is what's waiting for you in heaven and that's going to be your ongoing forever way of living for eternity. It's not going to be just a few seconds down here and then it's gone and I'm back to the old, you know, old woes me, you know, living here on the earth and dealing with all the crap here. Nope. When we get up there, we're never, ever going to leave the presence of that. It's going to be incredible. And that's one of the things, you know, I really believe we need to have new immortal bodies like it talks about in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 53, where the mortal must put on immortality, the corruptible must put on incorruption, okay? We need new heavenly capable bodies to not just survive, 
outside of the Earth's atmosphere, but these heavenly capable bodies are able to take in that much love where it doesn't overwhelm you. If that love came down on us here on the Earth, I believe we wouldn't be able to handle it. Because I feel that love during my times of praise and worship every day of the Lord. And you know what? I can't handle it. Okay? When I'm praising and worshiping and listening to praise and worship music, and I begin to really focus and meditate on the Lord, you know, stuff starts coming upon me, and all I do is cry. I just cry and cry and cry and cry. All right? I can't, it's, it's constantly wipe my face, you know? I just constantly cry, and then I get choked up, and then I try to praise, and then choking up. So, perhaps, that's one of the reasons why we need new mortal bodies. <laughs> so that way we can be in God's glory and not be ah, crying, choking up and, you know, walk with Jesus crying, sniffling, you know, Jesus like, you know, I appreciate that, but I would like to have a conversation with you. So what do you guys think? Do you think that's one of the reasons why it's so important for us to have an immortal, heavenly capable body, just so that we can behold God's glory? It makes sense to me. And another perfect example is Moses. When the Lord passed by Moses, you know, the Lord had to put Moses in a cliff of a rock just so that he could just be broadsided slightly by the Lord's glory. And we see that in Exodus chapter 33, verse 22. And it shall come to pass while my glory passes by that I will put thee in a cliff of a rock and I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. Wow. So that just goes to show you, <laughs> our bodies can't take the glory of God. Even Moses came down from Mount Sinai, he was glowing. His body is like glowing because of being in the presence of the Lord. You know, it's just gonna be incredible folks, the rapture resurrection event. So looking forward to it. It's gonna be incredible. All of you are dealing with sicknesses right now. All of you are dealing with the heartaches of life here right now. Folks, joy up. The time is coming. The time is almost here. The rapture resurrection will happen. The trumpet will sound. And when it does, <laughs> ah, knowing that everything about this world is left behind. Everything. And now we have this incredible life ahead of us. Okay? Please comment. Please share. Please hit that like button. Okay? And don't forget to subscribe right there below. That way you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. So you don't miss any new encouragement about our soon departure of the rapture resurrection. I love encouraging people about the rapture resurrection as the Bible commands us to do, that we should encourage one another with these words, okay? We should give hope to one another with these words. So may God bless you all, and hang in there, for we are almost finished. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website edvforme.org This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to? Or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know. 
and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device.